Elizabeth, what do I get wrong? What's the problem? I mean, I actually agree with what you were saying as far as social. Now, this is the smoke show, so you got to have a disagreement. You have to have. Oh, okay. Your, so, the and, and if you don't have a disagreement, if you're not a detractor, you shouldn't be here. Um, well, I wouldn't say I'm a detractor, but I do have a disagreement. Okay, what and is it? The disagreement is, is that. I believe, you know, I've been watching your show for a while. You're my guilty pleasure. And uh -huh. I feel like you break down women a lot. And it's it's needed. It's break down women. Stuff. Break down women. What does it's that Break mean? down the whole, that way they move, the way they think, the way that they talk, how they handle men, how they handle you on the show. All of those things. And break it oh. down. And I just feel like there's not building up there's no what oh, hold on hold on hold on hold on am i a therapist no but you're a coach your life coach right and yeah you pay for that service hold on hold on hold on hold on you pay for that service absolutely but i feel like there should be some kind of social responsibility as an influencer hold on wait a wait a damn back minute back wait a damn minute hold on I got a serious question. Do you hold Steve Harvey and all these people equally responsible for the lack of criticism? Absolutely. The, really? The feelings are all mutual, especially people who have a platform. And I really? Like you, I'm not saying you have to be free 99 about it, yeah. but just a little bit of nuggets of Oh, so 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 you so what you're trying to basically get us to believe is I never offer anything constructive i i don't do any of that it's all just tearing folks down that's all it is right no we're not into generalizations remember? well well you gotta because well, i because i'm not listening i'm not hearing what you're saying so i'm trying to understand you what i don't build people up i don't give them actionable information to follow up on i, I don't think it's enough no i think it's enough a, a little, a little, enough i think it's a dribble uh, uh, no. Are you out? The... Uh, okay, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Do you hold any of the daytime talk shows that have existed for my lifetime mm -hmm. to such the standard? To be no, 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 you don't. What do you mean? So you expect for someone to sit down and give someone a balanced thorough analysis on a live call-in advice show. Not necessarily, but you, it, it can be. No, it can it's be either you do or you form. don't because you cannot tell me that you have not seen me sit down and hell, the average at best video. How long did that, how long did that original video last? It was two hours and it was no the, the average at best segment when i talked to that one lady how long did that last i'm sorry it was lengthy i watched it and um so about how long about how long it was it was an hour was it for hour? her for her it was it was 22 minutes it was okay oh i'm talking about the whole show okay just for i her. said the i i went back and said the the average at best video mm -hmm. uh-huh and, and in so, that and in that video Mm -hmm. in that video of the 22 minutes how many times did I offer constructive advice honestly it was just here's the thing uh -uh. before you videos... move before the here's the milk no, before here's the thing because see when you guys come up here and say I do something you're gonna have to stand on this shit I'm standing <laughs> well, you're, no you're not you're not standing too well no, How many thing. times did I offer constructive, actionable advice? I, I did. I would say that you did. You have, it's been so while since I've watched it. It's been a year now. You just had the year anniversary video. So uh -huh. let, me, let, so, me, uh -huh. let me use my encyclopedia of mine and go back. And there well, if you're going to say I don't offer something, I'm, I'm expecting you to be able to point to something because I know what I do. And you're but just not right. I just feel like the rhetoric is not. I feel, 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 feel. Okay. Uh -huh. I believe, uh -huh. I hear, what I hear from the show is the rhetoric is, uh -huh. is more, you know, um, it's more you got to do this, but instead of this is how you do it. 
So the rhetoric is more like boom in your face, bow shock. Ma'am, hold on. I'm, I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be as polite as possible. I need you to speak like people don't know who you are. Because okay. what you're saying makes no sense. Boom, pow. So I feel like the boom and the pow is is that okay? Let's go back to the average or best. Yes. So she had to have a realization, like, ma'am, you're not a eight, nine, ten. You're not a Kelly, Beyonce, and a, a Rihanna. How many t did did I offer any actionable? practical real world advice in a 22 minute interaction i want to say yes i can't remember exactly you want to say was. yes get rid of, get rid of the dog this is what i'm showing you guys of most the, of my critics are disingenuous most of my critics are not honest critics i offered that woman to go to therapy 11 different times oh that's for the that's no ma'am for the first no 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 don't over you talk. For the first, no 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 Okay, so no, here's, here's no, you can't. Oh no, hold on. You, no, hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do this. See, what this is is about feelings. Feelings over facts. It's all about a feeling. I feel you should do this. I feel you should do that. I need to be Gandhi up in this bitch. But yet you got people selling y'all by act like a man, think like a woman and lying to you. And y'all don't sit around and hold anybody else to such a standard. But then I'm supposed to sit down and talk to a complete stranger and give an in-depth coaching session. Get the French toast out of here. I mean, that's I mean, I don't know. But is it me or does that seem a bit uh, seem a bit insane? bit insane uh, do you have a criticism or you uh, um, you have a critique or a criticism uh, Hallie hello I have a criticism okay what is it yes I have a criticism okay what is it why do a woman has to why do a woman has to be rated as a Beyonce or a Kelly to be accepted who said they had to be rated as a Beyonce or a Kelly to be accepted? I mean, that's what you've been been saying. No, 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 no. I had never said you have to be this to be accepted. I challenge you to bring in. I challenge you to bring any of that. I dare you. I challenge you to bring up where I said you have to be at this level to be accepted. Prove it. Were you always talking about a nine or a ten, ma'am? Like it or not? So, like, no, no, like it or not, there are levels and there's always rankings. I'm fifty-two. How old are you? I'm twenty-five. You ain't. You're twenty-five. Your hair ain't even twenty-five. Yeah. Your wig ain't even twenty-five Say years that again? old. Your wig ain't even twenty-five years old. My wig? Yeah, your wig, this is your not wig. A wig honey. 25. This woman is a 20, 25. See, this is why you got folks in here coming. I'm 25. That's why she's even laughing. 25. Lord have mercy, Jesus. Okay. 25 times two. Okay. No, no, no. See, okay. if we're not going if we're not gonna be honest, we don't even need to have a conversation. I'm I'm trying to just understand your your frame of reference. But if you're going to sit here and lie, there ain't even no point. 25. Y'all remember uh, Saw? Do you have a problem with women? She's sitting up here in a Barco lounger. She's sitting up here in a Barco lounger with uh, her feet soaking, talking about she's 25. With Vic Sav on her, on her knees and Tiger Bomb on her elbows. I'm 25. Somebody get me another pack of Newports in a in a pickle. Twenty five. Fuck out of here, man. And the point is, women don't like the fact that we have introduced that they have to rank. They rank us every day: your height, your income, your profession, your looks, 
your ability to provide everything else. Men know there's ranks and women don't like rankings. 25. Hello. How are you? Got to unmute yourself. I'll come back to you. Go ahead. Hi. 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 Kevin. Hi. How are you? What's the criticism? So it's not really like a big criticism, but I will say one thing that I haven't heard you really touch on. And I know that when you started, you were addressing the men. But when we talk about high value, I don't really think high value really equals salary because oh, I have okay. dated. Oh, oh, okay, doesn't matter what you think. Wait, well, I'm you, this was. I'm gonna tell you why it doesn't matter what you think. Men decide mm -hmm. who high value. No, no. Let me tell you why it doesn't matter. Because we decide what high value is as men, not you. You get to pick from who we decide are the best. <sighs> well. I will say this, um, as far as giving advice to people, I believe that there's more that a man should offer than just salary. To well, a, where, a where have woman. I ever said high value is just salary? I know that you, you've you never explicitly said it, but- No, I've not explicitly said it because I've not said it. But every time we talk about high value, we talk about salary instead of uh, what else can a People in the audience, this is another disingenuous critic. Look on the screen, please. <laughs> I want to look at the six fucking points I have often said high value is. Man making $10,000 a month or more, $120,000 annually. Dallas, Houston, Austin, San Antonio. Number two, earn debt money for three to five years. Number three, high value men recognize him as a peer or a potential peer. Four, he has a network of high value men and others. Five, he is visibility. It's kind of like LinkedIn level. And six, he has utility. He's useful to others and the group. That's how you attain high value status and how you maintain it is through dime, discipline, integrity, morals, and ethics. Where in the French toast does that ever just say salary? Well, what Where I'm does saying, that ever just say salary? Before you move so, on, don't, don't well me. Don't well me. I'm not just, moving on. I'm trying to actually continue but, expressing. But where does the, that just say salary? That where did that just say salary? Well, what I'm trying to explain to you is that most of the people that come on no, here- No, I can't be responsible for what most of the people- How about, Kevin, I was wrong. What I'm saying is what people think, not what you say. No, so- See, hold they on. can't do I'm it. They can't say. do it. They can't, she can't do it. Ma'am, I have just put up all of the principles in bullet points, pulled up from presentations I've had over a year, disproving your point, and you refuse to say- you know what, Kevin? You do say it's more than just salary. Now you well, want to move the goalposts. Let me say something to you. No, before me... you move the goalposts, I want to stick right here. You said it's more than salary. Did I just not describe many more things other than but salary? But did you yeah. let me did explain I just say more, more did I just say many did I say many more things other than salary? But can I explain Did I did I say salary, many more things other than salary? But what you're Did I say many more things other than salary? You're not going to get past that point. You're not going to move the goalposts. You're not going to move the goalposts. You, you'll, you'll sit there muted until you answer my question. See, this is what I'm not going to do. We're not going to over talk. We're not going to play this game. Did I say more things than salary? Hold up a one for yes, I did. Hold up a two for no, I didn't. A one for yes, you said more than salary. Two that no, you didn't. See, shame, insults, guilt, and the need to be right. I don't need Execute to order 66. This is the need to be right. It has been shown on screen in front of 17,000 people. And she, 17,000 people, and she refuses. How do you have a good faith conversation with somebody who disputes observable facts? Ma'am, I don't know what you want from me. We can have the conversation, but you're going to at least acknowledge the fact that I've not just said high value of salary. What she was going to try to do is say, well, I know I said that, but what now what I want to point I want to make is, well, people, what they hear, I can't be responsible for that. And instead of answering the question, you know what she does? Just like most women, I'm going to look down at my phone. I'm not going to pay attention because I, I cannot admit that I was wrong. I cannot admit I was wrong. I just can't admit I was wrong. Can't do that. That'll be too much like being agreeable. So, Go on, Maria. 
I no, was muted. No, That's why no. I didn't say anything. Well, I told you how to come out of it. Raise one for yes, two for no. So yes, one. Yes, you did address that it's more than just salary. However, what I'm expressing is I see what, and this has nothing to do with what you're saying. What I'm saying is the people on the internet, these other men that's taken, that's not coming to my responsibility, lives, not my responsibility. I'm not saying you're responsible for that. Not my responsibility. I'm not, saying that. I'm, not hold, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even. So why, okay, I mean, the reason I keep saying that, ma'am, is how can I be responsible for what other men say? But what why? I'm saying to you is I'm not holding you responsible. What, what we're doing is having a conversation for the matter. Well, I can't have a conversation about something I don't do. Okay, but we're having a conversation for the masses, for the men. No, no, no. We're having a conversation about my smoke show. We're having a conversation about the things I do and say that's in the title. It's in the description. It's not about the audience. It's not about the chat room. It's not about the blogs. It's not about the reaction videos. It's about what I do and say. And that's only fair, ma'am. Do you want a performance review about what the fuck you do or what people say about you at the job? Why are we cursing? I'm not cursing. Thank you. Because I can do what the French toast I want to do on my show. Don't try to be a snowflake when you come up here accusing me of something I don't say. Don't come up here trying to be a snowflake, trying to accuse me of something I did not say. And then when you prove it wrong, <laughs> you try to do it end around. So, all so I'm nothing. Is, no, so nothing. You said you want to. We're having smoke. So let's have smoke. Um, right? Yep. How about this? Bye. What I said is I'm not going to have rude. Smoke is fine, but I will not deal with somebody who's going to be a fool and be rude. Like the first lady, she had plenty of smoke, but she's not being disrespectful. I'm going to try to... See, this guy, this is why sign language is so important. They will, Women like her will gaslight you. Why are you getting mad? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? That's why women don't like my platform, because I am showing their... Their toxic behaviors, their narcissistic behaviors, their dysfunctional, disagreeable mannerisms. They don't like it because more men are starting to wake up to like, wow, I didn't realize that this is the problem. I thought I was off. No, no, no young brother, it ain't you. Um, Elizabeth, I'm going to go ahead and make some space. I'm going to drop you back down into the background, okay? But you're welcome to come back up in a minute. But I'm going to kick you. And everybody, if you're not on camera, I'm going to kick everybody who's not on camera. See, smoke shows are more than fine. I have no problem with the smoke. But you got to, I can only have conversations about what I say, not what everybody what somebody says about me and guys that brings us to the end of today's video thanks for watching more respect on the legend the godfather may he so rest in peace and may his name stay alive forever guys continue to check his videos he has amazing videos on his platforms videos that you learn how to make yourself the best version of yourself how to navigate your way around these modern females and the work system the system is against us as men so you gotta know how to just navigate around it and also focus on your self-improvement as a man like i said but what did this video tell you guys or tell us all most of these women that have disagreement with the guy for this message or something like that is always just based of lies that's just true all the ladies that just spoke in this piece of video just lied somehow some way they lied one lie about her age, she says she's 25, but looking at her, realistically speaking, she's over 45 years old. And another one said, be a high value man is just about money, which in reality, he never said something like that. And he even posted everything on the screen, asking him, is that what he did or he didn't do it, yes or no? And it's even very difficult for her to just admit that, yes, I'm just wrong and he didn't say something like that he was just she was just basically trying to prove that oh you said it somehow some way trying to bring all that bs explanation to you know qualify her point that she was making but which in reality everybody watching this content knows that this man never said being a high value man is just about the bag or something no that alone can be high value we have bombs that have money the parents were rich and you know so they gave birth to him having money so that cannot be termed as high value it is what it is you know but 
they just come in, try to lie, try to push an agenda because they just cannot argue or debate him properly. So they have to just try to make it look like, oh, he said this, he said that, when he never said any of those things. And the reason why they lie is just, they basically always come in into the conversation or the discussion with bad faith. So if they just realize that, okay, mm, whatever I'll say, this man is going to be able to refute my point or something, then I gotta make it look like I'm pushing an agenda. And by so doing, I'll be able to trick certain people to believe that he actually said it or something. And believe me or not, what this lady came to say, most women heard that he said, Bring it, being a high value man is just about bringing money or something. That's how they heard it. But it's not true. He never said anything like that. You can't be high value without money. That one is, is, is a fact. You can't just not be high value without money. But high, money alone doesn't make you high value. That's the point that Godfather is always making on his show. For me, the craziest part of the video is the lady just admitting she was wrong and she not being able to do it. So how do you expect men to deal with this type of difficult women? Something that is just white. We all see you to be white. She can just say, oh, it's white. I was just wrong for saying that thing is black. How do you both build a home with this type of a lady? How do you build a lifestyle with this type of a lady? How do you live peaceful with this type of a lady? It's, going, it's just always going to be chaos. So it's just not like, Black men most of the time don't prefer black women. It's just the attitude. This is this is a clear example. She's so difficult. And I would say even masculine, you know, not trying to be agreeable. It's it's just something that is a masculine trait. And these are the things that make black women very unattractive to most men in the West here. It is what it is. I'm just not trying to be an asshole. I'm just summarizing it up and you know. For the most part, people don't know why black women are single and they always think that black men are just choosing to date out or something. No, it's not the case. I'm not encouraging black men dating out, but if you watch this type of video, just a simple, yes, I was wrong or something, it's very difficult for such a lady, then you should understand where the men's frustration is coming from, where black men's frustration is coming from. These are the women that we are just telling them to pick and choose from, which is... Basically, we're telling black men to just, you know, go into hellfire because you just know that the person you are talking about is just a hellfire. Her lifestyle is just a hellfire. This is, I'm telling you something. When they are on these type of shows, they are at their best behaviors. This is what the most people don't know. They are on their best behaviors because they know that so many people are watching. Imagine you are in a room or you are living with this person. You are having your private life with this kind of a lady. Imagine. Something that was thousands of people are watching, if not getting to millions, are watching. And you can't just admit to, oh, I was wrong. When you know damn well that you are wrong, or you were wrong, you can imagine how frustrating it would be being around such a lady. Guys, that brings us to the end of today's video. Thanks for watching. More respect on the legend, the Godfather. May he so rest in peace and may his name stay alive forever. Keep checking his videos on youtube you will learn a lot from it and always remember to stay out of trouble the system is against men in general so you gotta be careful out there stay away from these hoes protect yourself the system ain't protecting you so just you gotta do it by yourself and always stay safe until we meet in the next video peace i'm out